It is possible that you already have some knowledge about the symphony of operations that happen at the same time when you press the power button in a modern system. Or this may be a magical hardware and software process to you, as you may be tasked with developing code on a running system during the boot sequence. Since security is all about details, it is vital that we all have the same understanding and baseline on how a modern system boots. Let's dissect what happens when we feed electricity to a modern chip. When powered off, a computer chip is just an expensive combination of silicon glass sprinkled with other atomic elements to form transistors and other electronic components, interconnected with an extremely complex network of metal tracks and wires. But once an electrical current starts flowing through this carefully designed piece of hardware, an interesting phenomenon starts happening. The transistors start switching to a certain voltage output level, some circuits start to oscillate to generate clocks, other circuits freeze their behavior between clock impulses. But for a very small amount of time, the hardware is unable to run any software. It must first complete the power on reset, or POR for short, routine. After power on, any digital hardware circuit must first become electrically stable in a predefined known state before it can operate in its digital fashion. Controlling this sequence is the task of the power on reset logic. Before we can run any digital software in the hardware, including bootloaders, the POR circuit logic will perform a number of tasks to ensure that the hardware platform is ready to execute software instructions, such as Hold all the circuits inside the chip in a reset state until they become electrically stable, i.e. with a preset voltage current level for the digital and analog electronic circuits, a certain oscillation behavior for clock distribution networks, etc. This task usually requires a manufacturer-specified amount of time, and may even require external logic to work correctly in some cases. Initialize the minimal hardware digital logic that will run the bootstrap software to predefined initial values. Load the first program address into the program counter of the CPU. Set all other CPU registers to zero or one or another preset value. Set appropriate control signals and address memory bus multiplexers, etc. Release the digital components from the reset state in a certain sequence so that the computer chip functions as intended. For example, releasing a CPU from its reset state will allow it to fetch, decode, and execute the software instructions. So far, we have described what happens in the POR sequence. This is fully determined by the hardware chip manufacturer, and a software developer cannot influence it by software means. From now on, when we talk about bootloaders, we will assume that the POR sequence has already taken place and the hardware is ready to start executing software instructions.